Hey, welcome back to Black Lab Garage. Well, today, unfortunately, we're having to do some fix-it stuff. Let me show what we're dealing with. My air compressor. The old motor on this thing, which it's an old Marathon Electric. It finally, the motor bit the dust. Unfortunately. I can't fuss because it's ran for like 10 years. But man, these things are like 300 bucks now. So we're going to place it with something cheaper. What is that something cheaper? Once again, Vivor to the rescue. Here's the kicker. This is a two horse motor. That's a three horse compressor. Can it run it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You ready? Come on, let's get into it. I mean, it's a decent looking motor. Now, why did I pick that particular electric motor? Well, it's pretty simple. All the others are $300. Even a used electric motor was like 200 bucks. That one is on clearance with free shipping for $93. That was a no-brainer. So, we're going to try it. You know what? I told you all wrong. I said the replacement motor was like $300. No, I just looked. The tractor supply. $479.99. Versus $93. that screw out that could bail it off now let me flip it around here undo the electrical I believe what happened to this motor I think one or both capacitors has went out on it I'm pretty sure that's what happened so I mean it could be fixed but it still wouldn't be cheap to even get it fixed certainly couldn't get it fixed for $93 Electrical's unhooked. See, I actually I built this compressor basically out of free stuff and junk. Oh lord, 15 years ago, I guess. So, I, I mean, it's been a good one. I just, a friend of mine had this tank, this tank, a Harbor Freight compressor, hydraulic hose, and some galvanized fittings, and this electric motor, and I mean, it. It's, it served me well. I can't fuss. Now let's get this pulley off here. And I don't know if I can, I probably can't hold the uh, puller and the phone at the same time. So let me uh, pull this pulley off here. And that pulley's off. So let's set this one off and set the new motor up here. See the bolt holes line up and stuff. Kind of hard to get in here, but yep. All the bolt holes line up. So that's a good thing. So let me flip it around here and try to wire this thing up. Well, there's my first red flag. <laughs> They're not quarter inch. They look like it, but they ain't. They are seven millimeter. Probably better go the other way. Stupid metric system. Hmm. Okay. It says here the factory setting is for 230 volts. Well, I'm having to do 110. That does show you how to wire here, but notice how all those wires are colored and you can see the labels plain as day. You see any colors? 
and most of them you can't see the labels yeah that don't make me happy okay I think I've finally got it all wired the dang sure could have left you a little more room in there I didn't like how it this right here runs real close to the bottom I was afraid that wire might chafe on the case so I actually just laid a piece of a shrink wrap underneath it or shrink even I should say underneath it try to keep it from chafing itself just a little extra precaution because I'm just paranoid about stuff like that but I think I got it so let me put the cover back on it so I guess what we'll do now is uh, I put a couple bolts in the motor before I fasten it completely down to all that I'm going to plug it in and make sure that it does run hopefully it does and hopefully you don't see it not running you hear me screaming which means there's a short in it or something anyway I'm getting eaten alive by electricity hopefully that don't happen so let's see what happens okay it's plugged in and uh, well you see it's doing absolutely nothing so let me flip it around here and check my wiring make sure power's coming into it which it should be oh wait a minute wait a minute wait 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 I was making sure that the pressure switch was turned on it is and it's still doing nothing great boom she's wearing now what it was one of the crimp connectors wasn't making a good connection to the wire for some I mean it was cramped but I don't know changed the crimp connector and it took off so we're good so now let's get it hooked back up all right got the belt on pulley on everything tightened down so let's kick her on see how it does if you can do it definitely tell you it's quieter than the other motor was and honestly I think it's spinning faster I need one of those uh, you know tax where you can just aim it at something and see how fast it's spinning and I'd actually test it but I ain't got one but I'll promise you it's spinning faster so $93 can't beat it so I hope this helps some of you or else you're going to find one for that price at. But be sure and hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and stay tuned. We hope to be back with another one. See you soon.